It is a huge game in the race for promotion to the Premier League as Bournemouth hosts Nottingham Forest. Just three points separate the sides with two games left for the season. They're both battling for automatic promotion. For more on this, we're joined now by Nottingham Forest podcaster Max Hayes. Match day with Max. Great to see you, Max. Now, I know you well enough to know you're not nervous about your Sky Sports News debut at all. However, I bet you're nervous about tonight. Yeah, I am, Tom. Great to see you, mate. Um, I think the last time I saw you was uh, that charity football match for Footprints in Nottingham. It was a good day. Um, but yeah, I am nervous about tonight. Uh, but then I also think that the pressure's on Bournemouth. You know, they're the team to slip up. Forest are the team to chase. Forest have done an excellent job of chasing so far um, with, I think, it's 2.1 points per game I was reading last night. And that's over 37 games um, throughout the whole season. That's a great stat. Um, it betters Bournemouth. It's title winning form. So there's no reason why Forest can't go and chase Bournemouth down tonight. Well, especially not with the manager you've got. When he took over, you were struggling. You don't need me to tell you that. How impressed have you been with him? Because from the outside, he's been amazing. Yeah, Steve Cooper has literally turned the club upside down. Um, I mean, I've never seen a manager come in and, and just, um, you know, connect with the staff, players. And I've heard stories off the pitch that he went up and introduced himself every day when he arrived so the first week he went up to all the staff around the club whether that was coaching staff playing staff or backroom staff you know uh, staff in the kitchen he went to introduce himself he he's created a real mentality in the club and that's a winning mentality but then also the mentality of next man up often we've seen the last few weeks Forrest have been hit with a few injuries Keenan Davis being one of those an excellent player on form um, up front and Steve Cooper said in his post-match interview it's the next man up which Sam Surridge has done an excellent job of and, and Sam settled into the club so well I was speaking to his dad so yeah Cooper's just got the players on board and um, it's just a great time to be a Forest fan as well. Well it'll be even greater of course if you go up but and there is one potential negative though if, if you don't go up all right and I know you're confident that you will but if you don't how worried are you that Steve Cooper might be poached by somebody else? Yeah, I mentioned this to my uh, family the other week, actually. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those. It's, it, it's football managers get poached all over the place. However, I'd like to think that Steve's enjoying his time around Nottingham. Um, he wants to stay. He's developed a great relationship with the players. And of course, if we don't go up this season, that's automatics, playoffs. I just would like to have another season with him. It probably won't be the same season with the same squad. It, it, it's never going to be like that because loan players will have to go back and we might not be able to keep hold of excellent players such as Jed, such as, uh, as Jed Spence. But yeah, Cooper's good, going to probably get poached by other clubs, but that's probably a, an achievement for him and an achievement for the club. It shows that we're doing so well. I know it's going to be quite hard to put into words, but I'm going to ask you anyway, how much would it mean to Nottingham Forest fans? You are certainly... A Premier League club just you haven't been in the mm. Premier League for a long time how emotional would that be yeah it'd be fantastic um, I mean as a young supporter I haven't seen anything really a few FA Cup memorable moments probably from this season actually um, beating Leicester beating Arsenal um, so so yeah um, for a young supporter it'd be excellent and even for the supporters probably under 30 that haven't had much to smile about the club deserves to be in the Premier League um, it deserves to be on the fixture list every time the Premier League fixtures come out. Um, Forest are a huge club, it would do the city so well. And I think it would be emotional for many Forest fans. And I know tonight, if we can pull off a result, um, then it, it, it might be pretty emotional in that um, stand uh, come 90 minutes. I'm just looking through your squad right now and you've got a real mix actually of players who, who've been there and done it. Lewis Graben is still there. Jack Colback's got plenty of experience as well. Scott McKenna uh, has been challenged, you know, challenging the top end of the Scottish Premiership in the past. Steve Cook, of course, formerly of yeah. Bournemouth, is in your squad too. But you've got youngsters like Alex Mighton, who's very exciting. Brennan Johnson, very, very impressive. Is there any weakness in your side or squad? Um... No, I, I don't think so, Tom. I think that Cooper's done an excellent job of almost covering every position. I mean, there's probably one that we could do with strengthening on his left-back position. However, Jack Colback has done an excellent job. Remember, Jack Colback's a midfielder um, and he slots into that left-back role. And this is maybe an unpopular opinion amongst Forest fans, but I think he could have done a better... He, he probably has done a better job than Max Lowe in that 
in that left back position. But you just mentioned there the young talent we've got. Brennan Johnson is the highest um, scorer for Forest this season. I think he's 16 goals. Um, you know, so there's players like him that have also played under Cooper in previous um, England international youth teams and uh, set up. So, so yeah, in, in, in terms of a weakness, probably left back. But but no, Cooper's done an excellent job of kind of keep keeping a team that's fit and keeping a team that can be replaced and the next man up attitude comes in as well. Well, Max, we know it is an absolutely huge match tonight. We hope you enjoy it and I do wish you the very best of luck. Cheers, Tom. Thanks very much. Right, on the way, we've got so much more to come. We look back.